Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining the class. My name is Dr. Mary and I'll be guiding you through your chakra exploration. For background information on my professional history as a chiropractor and medical intuitive, please refer to the about page on my website www.drmarysanders.com. For years, I've been passionate about educating people about the multidimensionality of the human body. I love connecting the physical and the emotional body to the psychological, which intimately intertwines with the energetic and the spiritual. We can't be one without the other. And so that is why I made this micro class to expand your paradigm of the human body and to deepen your knowledge. For our discussion today, we will be primarily referring to the seven major chakras located in the midline of the body. Don't worry, in the next few days, we'll be discussing each chakra in length, including its location, function, how it relates to the physical body, and its associated endocrine glands. But first, we need to talk about the basic structure and components of the human energetic system. To begin our conversation about chakras, I thought it would be beneficial to start with the chakra anatomy. I'm going to use some household items as props to demonstrate the various parts of the chakra system. I wish I could take credit for the creativity of this demonstration, but I can't. Dr. Francesca McCartney, the founder of the Academy of Intuition Medicine and the author of Body of Health, used some of these props in a lecture, and I thought it was absolutely brilliant, so I'm going to share it with you today. The paper towel tube represents the vertical energy line known as the vertical power cord. It carries electrical information up and down the body, much like acupuncture meridians and the central nervous system. The movement upward has been referred to as the current of liberation. The downward movement is the current of manifestation. Next, the funnel represents the cone-shaped vortex of a chakra and how it connects to the vertical energy line. Remember, each chakra is a mass of whirling energy of different frequencies, and they are designed to receive information from our environment and transmit or express our own personal energy. Now we add the vegetable steamer, and at the wide part of the funnel is a symbolic aperture that opens and closes according to the amount of energy we are capable of metabolizing. A fully open chakra may show signs of excessive energy and a completely closed chakra could demonstrate deficiencies. That is why we want to learn how to self-regulate and calibrate these apertures depending upon our immediate environment and people. That concludes today's video portion of our lesson and we'll be picking it up again tomorrow.